All right, this is Miracle's first time through our little course. And here he's seeing our umbrella spinny spin for the first time. He's encouraged to go and put his nose on it. Make sure he sees it. Come on, buddy. Good boy, he put his nose on it. We can move to the next one. So we're just walking through the course real quick. He's got one. There you go, right over there. Now we have a American flag over here. He's got to be able to see it. Now horses don't see colors the same way that people do. So uh, he doesn't see the red in that. It kind of looks gray to him. So that's going to be kind of a different thing for a horse to see red and white stripes. Now you can probably see the blue, but there we go. Again, he's encouraged to put his nose on it. Brave boy, good boy. Okay, I think you're gonna have to get him up to a trot for this one. Come on, cross rail. Oh, that was not real pretty. <laughs> All right, now we have O2 Green Bay Packers, which act. Here we go with flag desensitization with Miracle. <laughs> We're using a novelty Green Bay Packers. The reason is the colors, the green and the yellow, actually the horse can see a whole lot better. It's gonna be the pattern and the way that it moves that's gonna be kind of the scary thing. So Miracle's encouraged to come forward and put his nose on it. He's not really liking this whole thing, but there we go. And release, tell him what a good boy he is. Yeah, <laughs> he's kind of looking really worried. He's like, I don't know, that thing's gonna kill me. It very easily could. So he's encouraged to walk forward. And the next thing she's going to do is introduce it more to his side. So she's going to move around to one side or the other. Now we know with Miracle, he kind of likes and accepts things a whole lot easier on his left side. So it's easier to start with him on the left side as opposed to the right. Every horse has a different side that they work on better than the other. And when you're doing desensitization and you know it might be something that's going to be kind of scary, try to get it to be kind of small let them put their nose on it and eventually be able to walk towards them. So walk around a little bit so he can still see what you're doing and eventually be able to touch him. So good at this point and release. Let them put their nose on it so they know it's not going to hurt them. Very good. Go back to the touch and you know touch those places where the horse really likes. You know if the horse likes a good wither scratch then you know you can put your hand up there too and give him a good little wither scratch so he associates it with a good thing so now that she's desensitized to the four quarters now she's going to move to the hind quarters and the hind quarters sometimes are a little more sensitive but he seems to be taking this really well good boy so the next stage in this, especially with the flag or anything else, we're going to unfurl it slowly so he can actually see the pattern and see it move. He's now gotten co confident with the object itself. Now the object itself is going to get bigger. Now you can go ahead and let go of your lead rope at this point. Um, it's kind of a confidence booster to him and he's being really cool about it. So it's going to be his choice and if he wants to go, then he can go. But he's showing you signs of relaxation. Those ears are actually pointed back and listening to us and listening to Sydney. Um, his tail's down, his head is starting to relax. Very good. All right, now we have it more open. Now she's gonna start kind of moving it a little bit more. There we go, that's where we might have a little bit of a hesitation. So just go back over. See, he's following you, he's coming back into you though, that's good. There you go. Reward him for that. Let him put his nose on it. Let him put his nose on it. Good. Now this time raise it up. Raise it up. There you go. So now he can see it at a much higher perspective. Okay. Now that it's kind of high, he still has to put his nose on it when it's high. So gradually raise it up, bring it to him. So he has to put his nose on it up to it high. So now we're moving on to the other side. He's doing really well. But this is kind of his shy side. 
So he's being a little less reactive. He still looks a little bit worried about it, but uh, he's starting to get a little bit more relaxed. And he's looking over. Now he's seeing everything. Now it's time to kind of step back from him and open it up just a little bit so we can see it on that side too. Again, it kind of moves towards him. It can't see. <laughs> Look at his face. See if he'll put his nose on it. Very good release. And kind of move it away a little bit. Make your release a little bit more of a move it around for him so he understands that he touches it. It moves away from him. There you go. See, it moves away from him. It makes movement. And movement is not a bad thing. Because when he touches it, it moves away from him. There you go. Good job. Now, start just moving it around. There you go. Move the flag back and forth. There you go. And kind of walk around him a little bit. Let's walk around. Say, woo. Make sure he knows that he's just supposed to stand there. Ooh. So he's keeping an eye on it. Move the flag a little bit. There you go. There you go. Ooh. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much for joining us on today's video. And if you want to see more videos on Miracle, check out his playlist. And remember, if you haven't already, please subscribe.